and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at August 2nd, 2024's XV Negative Constraint by Clover. Clover's one of our setters here at Gas HQ, so am I. My name is Bill Murphy, and it is my pleasure, nay, my honor, to be solving this puzzle for you today. Uh, we, uh, we have kicked off our, um, our August. We don't have a good name for it. We just call it Redacted August, where... Uh, you can get a bonus party hat for uh, solving today's puzzles, uh, guessing what tomorrow's puzzle is about to be. Um, if you're not on the Discord, you'll have a little bit longer to guess it. Um, but uh, we are a gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. Uh, we create and make our own genuinely approachable Sudoku. Um, this is what we do every day for you for free you can find the link to this puzzle in the description down there uh you will also find hat times two hats is for a very fast time one hat is for a pretty fast time and everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally um yeah that's about it let's get into it um today's puzzle is a banger i actually didn't test this one but i did it yesterday um so normal sudoku rules apply so in each box each row and each column we must place the digits one to nine once each now digits separated by a v must sum to five digits separated by a 10 must sum to 10 and all possible x's and v's are given so if two adjacent digits are not separated by an x or a v their sum is not five or ten you are going to need to make a good amount of work with, with that today so i hope that helps please be aware of it um that being said let's get into it so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go around uh no i'm gonna i'm gonna do this properly uh hell i'm gonna flex a little bit and i'm gonna actually remember to turn off conflict checker all right and we're gonna yeah, turn that off all right so um the digits that go in a uh, across a V can only be one, two, three, or four. But by our negative constraint, these two can't be one because we have a nine there, and they can't be three because they have a seven there. So uh, we can take the one and the three out, and then because we have a two, four pair, we know that that must be one and three. If we go over here, we can do the same thing. Uh, these two cells cannot be four or three because they cannot sum to uh, six or seven. So that's one, two, three, four. Over here, six and eight means that these cannot be two or four, so they must be one and three, meaning that this must be two and four. And over here, this cannot be one or two because it, the next nine, eight, so they must be three and four, meaning these are one and two. Now, over here, we have uh, the only three digits this can be is five, six, and seven. Um, and we can go around the grid and we'll clean this up. Uh, I'm going to do it over here too before I clean it up. It looks a lot better when I don't have conflict tracker on for a change. Five, eight, and nine. Uh, five, seven, and nine. Now, where does five go in all of those rows? Well, nine and seven mean that this must be five, so we'll take five out of there. Six and seven in this room mean that five must be here. And now, uh, eight and nine over here mean that five must be here. And six and eight mean that five must go up here. Pardon me. Now, um, what's this X going to be? Well, it can't be it can't be six four because I know I have to put a six in the box there. It can't be two and eight because I know I have to put a box in there. Um, so, and it can't be three or seven, so it must be one and nine. Uh, meaning, as soon as I put the one here, this must be two and three. And this has to be four and seven. Uh, now, if I come down here, what's this X? It can't be seven and three, nine and one, or two and eight. So it must be four and six. Uh, now that I've put four in the box here, this cannot be one and four. So it must be two or three. Um, and then, oy, oy, oy. Uh, and then this has to be one and eight. Meaning this is now either three or six, and this is either two or nine. 
but I have a nine here. So that's going to do a stack of work in just completely undoing this whole puzzle. Uh, so this is two, eight, one. Now this one over here sees this one. So that's two and three, four and one come up here. Uh, that is three and two, four and one, four, one, two, three, uh, four, one, three and two. Yep. There we go. And two, three. Now, uh, ba, 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 ba. yeah, I haven't quite, uh, I haven't quite done all of it yet. Um, now, uh, blah, 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 blah. um, can we do that just yet? Not quite. Um, okay. So that's, well, I have to put a five in there. This is one, three, four, and six. So uh, this is either four, six, or eight. Um, something pretty funky is this is either one or five. Uh, mm, mm. Someone forgot the negative constraint. I literally just warned everyone to not do that. So uh, this is either one, four, six, or nine. It can't be six or nine because uh, six and nine are already in this box. And then this can't be uh, four because it is next to uh, a one, which would make six. So this is nine, one, come down here, seven and nine. Uh, this one can't go next to a four, so that's six and four. Uh, this one can't, up here can't go next to a four, so that is seven and four, meaning this is three. The seven can't go next to a three here because I already had one, never mind. But it also can't go there via negative constraint. Uh, and this four can't go next to a six here. So that's eight and six. Oh. No, nah, I can't use that anywhere else in the grid. Uh, so this is now five and four. Now, I need to place a two and a three on these X's. So because I need to place a two and a three, this is two, three, seven, eight. Uh, because two and eight make 10, three and seven make 10. So I'm gonna take the seven out of this one, go six and seven. Gonna take uh, the eight out of here, go nine and eight. Uh, and now, because I know that I have to place two or three in here, and I know I need to place a two or a three in here, um, doesn't matter which way around they go, I know that this must be a one, four, and this also must be a one, four. So I do know it, uh, which way around those go in here. So that's one and four. Uh, this is one and four. Uh, where do I place this? Oh, I already have an eight in this box. I'm just, oh, um, it, it's been a odd day. Um, I was playing futsal, um, for a bachelorette party today. Um, I haven't stretched, so I'm going to do that after I finish recording this video. My, uh, my glutes are a little tight um all right five uh, and now just got a little bit more of this puzzle to finish can i do negative constraint to finish uh oh yeah i can three can't go next to a two so that's eight and two uh two can't go, go next to a three so that's seven and three uh all right i need some digits to finish off this puzzle uh five six and eight no oh, not quite uh five eight and nine hmm Five, seven, and nine. All right. I'm going to just... Oh, I'm just getting negative constraint, on I? Five, six, and eight. Uh, four can't go next to a six. This can't have an eight there. And this also can't have a six because of the column. So that is a six. And this is a five, which puts a five up here. Five there. Uh, nine, eight. Five, eight. Uh, six and seven left to place here. I can do that with Sudoku. And this has been XV Sudoku by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Last time I checked, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I will catch you next time. Cheers.